What's up, guys? So, I'm going to talk to you the, today live. If you're just new to the in, every single Monday or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday through Friday um, at 10 a.m., I am going live on Facebook and as well as TikTok because I like TikTok. TikTok is uh, growing on me. Um, and going to be talking about a specific topic, something that I think would help you along your journey. This could be mindset, nutrition, or health related, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So I'm going to talk about how, uh, what you don't need to be doing for the midsection, right? I, 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 figure, I figure a lot of people do this. They're trying to always tone up their midsection, always. That's one of the problem areas that they see the most, okay? That's one of the main focuses that a lot of people do focus on is the midsection. And I think a lot of people, most people, because I talk to a lot of people um, day in and day out, they think they have to overtrain their, their abs, okay? And here, here's a couple of scenarios. Most people think that you have to do a thousand sit-ups a day, all right? Hey, guys, appreciate Liz for sharing it. Hey, if you want, share this video with somebody that might get some value, whether that be on YouTube or you share it to your Facebook, whatever the case, share it so we can inspire other people. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll, I'll continue and stop <laughs> on. So most people do like a, maybe a thousand sit-ups a day. Maybe you do uh, 2,000 leg raises where you're laying flat on your back and just kicking up your legs. Uh, maybe you're doing... 3,000 mountain climbers just going, you know, pretty much on the ground, sprinting on the ground, so to speak. Uh, maybe you're doing that. And a lot of a lot of individuals think that you have to overtrain. Well, that's not the case. You, you don't necessarily have to work out your midsection as often as you might think, okay? Um, because regardless on, on how many exercises that you do, your midsection isn't going to get smaller. You're not going to get toned. You're still going to have flabness. It's not going to be tight, all right? It doesn't matter how many exercises that you do if your, your, your nutrition is not on point. Because I'm telling you, the reason why your, your stomach is, is sticking out or you're not satisfied with your stomach or you're not seeing your, a more defined midsection, the reason is because you have too much fat around your midsection, okay? You have too much body fat around your midsection. So right now, you can't even see it. You can't even see your midsection right now. All right, and I'm gonna tell you, I don't. I maybe train personally. I only train abs. I only do abs maybe once a, a month. Like I rarely ever do abs because the way that you're gonna get your abs to show, the way that you're gonna get your midsection to start showing, to have that more definition, is if you are in a calorie deficit. If you eat correctly, all right. That's the only way. There's no hidden secret. There's no. Quick fixes, there's no tummy tuck, which you could probably pay the surgery, but more than likely, if you do a tummy tuck or some liposurgery, more than likely, nine times out of ten, you're going to gain the weight back because you haven't learned anything. You're still doing the same old habits prior to you having the surgery. So your body's not, you may see those quick instant results, that instant gratification, but I guarantee it, you haven't learned anything new. All right, If you're getting some value, please, please drop some fire in the comments as I'm talking, all right? So regardless of whatever it is that you do, all right, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you want a six pack, doesn't matter if you're you're just trying to want to tone up your midsection, you don't even care for a six pack, it doesn't matter. Regardless on the case, it doesn't matter. But you have to be in a calorie deficit, hands down. You have to be in a calorie deficit. You have to stop overeating so much. That's hands down, that's what you have to do. Like there's no other fixes besides that. Right now, you're eating too much. You're snacking too much. You're grazing too much. You're going out to eat too much. You're drinking too much. You're overeating, whatever that may seem. All right, however your 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 fixes are, whatever whatever's relevant to whatever lifestyle that you live. All right. The reason why you're struggling with getting and toning up your midsection is because you're overeating. There's nothing else that needs to be said about that. That's it. You're not in a calorie deficit. Now, if you do want to like tone up and start developing a, a harder, more stable core, all right, because if you have a good core, this is going to help with other movements, especially if you're weight training, right? If you want to have a better core in itself, then yes, you are going to have to start training and start building that muscle up. But to actually get your 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 midsection to tone it up, it's not by doing all this countless exercises of ab workouts. It's not going to get you there. All right, it's a good proper diet. All right, everybody has that, but I says everybody has abs. Everybody has that 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 toneness, firmness of abs, that developing, defining abs. 
but you just have too much fat around those abs, all right? So we have to uncover that, all right? Um, so if your goal is to get the pudginess out, to get rid of the love handles, to actually maybe have abs for the first time in your life, then I guarantee it, you're going to have to start eating at a calorie deficit. You're going to have to start watching what you eat. That's, that's just the bottom line. That's just, that is what it is, all right? So burn fat, guys. If you want to see your ass, reveal your midsection, all right? That's the name of the game. Calorie deficit all the way. All right, guys, I hope you got some value. Um, again, drop some fire in the comments. Leave a comment. Share it with somebody. Like this video. I would really appreciate it. I will be uploading this on YouTube after, uh, within the next couple of minutes. Y'all have a great day. I'll catch you tomorrow. Same time. Peace out.